kind of a blend of amino acids, the peptide. Um, and I also use arginine. Uh, let's see if any other amino acids that might be of note. Those are the, those are the three basic amino acids I use. And then a, uh, you can throw in whey protein, carnitine, which is a peptide that can also help too. And you can add all of these directly to your smoothie. But whey is the best, and then uh, cracking a raw egg in there is also a good idea, and that'll get you plenty of protein. Or even two raw eggs, that'll get you plenty of protein. For you guys who are gagging or rolling up your eyes or making faces about the idea of using raw egg in your smoothie, you should know that it is very, very delicious. You can't really taste the egg, but what you you do get is a nice creamy quality to your smoothie, and the egg has lots of lecithin in there, which acts like an emulsifying agent and pulls all the oils and water together so you can mix in essential fatty acids and coconut oil uh, into your smoothie, and it'll blend in real nicely with the whey and the liquid portion of your smoothie, the water portion of your smoothie. So cracking a raw egg, using whey, using amino acids, these are all great ways to beef up the protein value of your uh, liquid fasting. And, of course, bone soup. That's almost pure protein. You know, not pure protein, but the solid material in, in bone soup is mostly protein or, or large proportion of it is protein, so that's another great way to add liquid protein to your liquid fasting diet. I hope that helps. If I didn't, if I didn't answer your question, please call back uh, tomorrow when you have a better connection. All right, Michigan. Uh, let's go to Michigan and talk to Sharon. What's up, Sharon? Good morning. Hey, Ben. How you doing? Doing good. What's going on I, today? Uh, every time I listen to your program, I have more questions, but I'm only okay. going to give you two today. How about answers? Do you get answers, too? I hope so. Absolutely. Okay, good. Absolutely, but then they lead to more questions. Okay, that's the way it goes. That's nothing yeah, wrong with that. that's the way it goes. Okay, so I have a question about uh, retinas, and then I have a que- question about cholesterol. Okay, let's do the cholesterol one first. You want to do that one first? I am yeah. on Zetia right now, okay. and because, well, you know, I have 223 on my cholesterol levels. Well, it's not a problem. I want to get off the Zetia. Well, you know, this, Sharon, this, uh, please don't take this personally because I'm not picking on I you here. Go ahead. But we have this idea that our cholesterol levels are, sometime, are, are somehow meaningful when it comes to heart disease. And we think uh-huh. that our cholesterol levels, and it's not just us, me and you, it's the medical community, feels like the cholesterol, our cholesterol levels are so significant that it is worth taking a substance like Zetia, which is, which is actually two drugs in one. It's actually a mm-hmm. blend of drugs, as you know, yes. uh, to, to, uh, to lower our cholesterol. This is a lie. This is a scam. This is a ripoff. This is, I don't even want to say it's stupidity. It's biochemical stupidity, clearly. But it's even worse than that. It's nefarious. Because drug companies know good and well that there's no link between shrinking your cholesterol levels or, or elevated cholesterol levels and heart disease. But they're so vested. There's so much industrial and economic and mercenary uh, reasons for promoting this idea that they could care less about the science of it. They could care less about the health of it. They could care less about the fact that these drugs are poisonous. They could care less about the fact that you never want to suppress an essential biochemical process in the body in the interest of health, maybe in the interest of money, but not in the interest of health. On the other hand, cholesterol is an absolutely critical substance. It's a vital substance, as we talked about ad nauseum, and I'm not going to beat a dead horse here, but I will say this about cholesterol. There's a reason why cholesterol manufacturing, cholesterol production in the body goes awry. For some reason or another, the body is under this delusion that it needs to, it thinks that it's growing and building and repairing more than it really is. And this is because of insulin. We've said this so many times in the Mm -hmm. past. If you want to lower your cholesterol, Sharon, drop your insulin. If you want to drop your insulin, reduce your intake of insulin spiking foods, and that's primarily sugary breads and pastas. And I saw a commercial the other day for Raisin Bran. They had to have the nerve to say that Raisin Bran is a heart healthy food because (laughs) I couldn't believe what I was listening to. It's the worst thing you could do for your cardiovascular system is eat Raisin Bran. Not the worst, but among the worst things. Why? Because Raisin Bran is raisins and sugar and uh, bran, all of which spike and raise your insulin. Now, you might get a little bit of fiber in the bran, but aside from that, you've got a prime insulin-spiking food which will jack up your cholesterol. You guys, when you lower your, uh, lower your insulin, not only will your cholesterol levels drop like a stone without drugs, but you'll lose weight. Your blood pressure will drop. Your degenerative diseases and your inflammatory diseases will start to decrease. The symptoms will start to decrease. You'll live longer. You'll think better. You'll reduce the likelihood of Alzheimer's and Parkinson's, and Parkinson's disease. You'll have more energy, the list of the benefits without drugs, including lowering your cholesterol as long as your arm. And it's all simply by restricting your insulin, reducing your uh, caloric intake, and especially around insulin spiking foods. You don't need any drugs to do it. There's never, I'm telling you, this is a registered pharmacist who's been doing this for 30 years, studying medicine since 1983. 
There is not one single prescription drug that can make the claim that it improves your health in any way, shape, or form. Period. End of story. The logic of using a poison substance, which is what a prescription drug is doing. I'm not being dramatic. It's literally a poison substance. The logic of using a poison substance to improve health it only makes sense to a company, a, a, a business entity or business enterprise that is profiting off of that logic. Otherwise, it makes zero sense sense at all, and you don't need those prescription drugs. Lower your cholesterol naturally, safely, and kindly to your body simply by reducing your intake of fast uh, uh, insulin-spiking foods, fast-burning sugars, and that, of course, is grains and pasta and rice and potatoes and processed foods of all kinds. And thanks for your call. Appreciate it. Sharon, uh, anything else? Oh, you want to talk about retinas? Look, ask yeah, me real quick. Cause we I have, have a, a retinopathy that, that is progressive in stages. It's all, part of, the same, it's all part of the same story. Uh, I, and I don't wanna, thought so. Yeah, you know, it's all the same deal. You're your body is at, without, you know, don't want to be too too dramatic here, but your body's basically falling apart. When the tissue starts to degrade, you've got inflammation and, and stuff is falling apart. Lowering your cholesterol, uh, lowering your intake of uh, insulin and fast, burn, fast burning sugars is probably a good strategy there, too. There's more I could tell you, Sharon. If you want to call back tomorrow, we can spend more time talking about that. All right, that's all the time we have for today. Thank you guys for listening. I appreciate all of, all of you guys. I appreciate all uh, letter writers and all the kind words you're saying on Facebook as well. We will continue our discussion on fasting and uh, maybe touch on keratin and cysteine tomorrow as we continue talking about connective tissue on the bright side. Thanks for listening, folks. Have a wonderful, beautiful day. We'll talk to you all later. Bye for now. Self-reliance, survival supplies, survival skills, national experts. Get it all at the only free-to-attend national event exclusively for preppers. This spring in Tulsa, it's the National Preppers and Survivalist Expo, a must-be-there event. Presented by American Living, this massive expo will include special guests. David Mays from Nat Geo's Doomsday Preppers. Plus, GCN Zone Dr. Joel Wallach via live video conference. Here, Dr. Bones, Nurse Amy, and members of the American Prepper Network along with many other leading national experts. Learn life-saving tips, CPR, how to handle crisis situations, walk through a bomb shelter, and much, much more. Two big days, April 5th and 6th at the Tulsa Expo Square in Tulsa, Oklahoma. That's April 5th and 6th. Doors open at 9 a.m. with absolutely free admission. Don't miss the National Preppers and Survivalist Expo, America's largest emergency preparedness event. Get your free tickets now. NPSExpo.com. That's NPSExpo.com. American gardeners and fellow patriots make the right choice with your money, time, and your family food supply. Choose 100% pure heirloom seeds in the Survival Seed Vault from MyPatriotSupply.com. Why spend more? The Survival Seed Vault from MyPatriotSupply.com is only $37.95 and includes 20 varieties of pure, hardy, easy-to-grow heirloom seeds. Yes, only $37.95. That's 70% less than our competitors. You could buy three Survival Seed Vaults for less than one of theirs. The Survival Seed Vault from MyPatriotSupply.com includes detailed planting and seed saving instructions and ships same day. Plus, all orders over $49 ship free. MyPatriotSupply.com is American owned by patriots like you, passionate about freedom and preparedness. Call now, 866-229-0927. That's 866-229-0927. Or discover more emergency preparedness items when you order at MyPatriotSupply.com. Choose the original. Choose the Survival Seed Vault at MyPatriotSupply.com.